Morning, everybody. I'm Ryan Missler. Just walked out of the house. It's Monday morning. Got the Toyota in the driveway. And I have a flat tire. So we're going to have to deal with that today at some point. But I'm just walking to work. We'll see what's going on down there. And we get a break in the action. I'll come up, pump up my tire, and try to find out what the heck's wrong with that. Got a little white stuff on the ground. Makes the hill a little slick on my morning commute. All right, everybody, I'll show you what we're doing. We're making a mess with some plastic today in the mill. Now this is not just plastic, it's called Nylatron. So we're putting this in the fixture right here. We are bolting it down. And we're going to show you what's going on. We're running the, the Akuma today. Okay, here we go. Roughing out another pass here. All right, now it's gonna put a little bevel on the side of the part. All right, it's all done, let's check it out. Looks good to me, just gotta get it out of there and deburr it. We'll add it to our pile of completed parts. We got some done here, they're just thrown on here, I gotta deburr them yet. 
We got all these to go. Pretty cool, huh? Here's a better look at a completed, finished part. See that bevel on there? Looks pretty good. Anybody want some scrap plastic? All kinds. So we had a flat in the old Toyota. I brought it down to the shop, put it in the back room here, pumped up the tire, and for hours it is not losing any air. How in the heck can a tire lose 50 pounds of air overnight and then be perfectly fine all day and not lose any air pressure. Well, we're just gonna fill the tire up all the way, pull it back outside, hope for the best. We'll check it again in the morning, see if it leaks off overnight. It's really strange. All right, so I'm getting ready to go home for the day, but I wanted to show you guys, you know those parts we were making in the mill, the Akuma mill out there? We draw them on the computer, and then that's how we create programs for the machine to machine the parts themselves. So this is the part in SolidWorks. This is the solid modeling software that we use. So we create, this part was provided to us, so we didn't design this part, but we uploaded it into our software, and then we put machine, um, what do you want to say, we just put tool paths on it, so we can, we can simulate the tool path after we're done to see if we programmed it correctly or not. So this will run, and that's exactly what it did in the machine. So these two pieces fell off, that piece and that piece and then there's our ex uh, existing piece so thought I'd explain that a little bit better hopefully that helped but we use SolidWorks uh, it's actually called it's SolidWorks but it's actually called CamWorks uh, that we put our uh, programming software to use through CamWorks that's how we program our machines I think I'm gonna go home and uh, this is it for today, Monday. We'll see you tomorrow. We made it to Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon. We're running the old CNC lathe again. Now we've got some square stock in here, and we're going to turn this end round and cut some threads on there. So I've uh, already got my program all done, and we're going to run it. Turn down. Now we put this tool in. You see that? We're gonna cut some threads on there so we can thread our nut on there. Got my program pulled up. All done. Very nice. All right, I'm out of here for the day. Just created some 
shipping labels to ship out some packages here here got these parts all finished up this morning that we showed you earlier we're getting some you guys are getting some parts whipped out here yeah there's a plate so yep getting out of here for today going to go and play some basketball tonight what you doing up there Wes <laughs> Don't worry about it. Top secret. No, you could say. Hanging security cameras. It was not my idea, but I'm an employee, so I do what I'm told. <laughs> Are you uh, you're staying on a desk, so that's not real safety. How soon you're not uh, it's, harnessed and it's tied It's less off? than four feet, I'm fine. Oh, okay. I don't know what the rule is. He's installing security cameras so I can keep an eye on these guys, make sure they're working. No, for safety. And security. Safety and security, right. Just walking into the gym. So we play basketball once a week, try and keep in shape somewhat. Um, but we just play, there's a couple couple racers that play. Uh, Rex, who uh, uh, is, uh, I guess he runs Attica, uh, I forget, race director or whatever his title is. And then a bunch of other good basketball players. I'm not very good. So we'll show you guys in here. Just got home from basketball. Uh, I gotta do a little bit more cardio during the week because my legs are feeling a little stiff. What you got there, Junebug? Ooh, that's fancy. What is that? It's your name, out of hot glue. Dad, oh, cool. Good job, look at that shirt. That's a racing shirt. There's a sprint car on it though. All right, everybody. So that was basketball. Hopefully that was some good footage. Tried to make some shots. I can't make very many shots. But appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a like, subscribe. Go to RyanMistler.com. Check out our stuff. I'm telling you. Water bottles. We got water bottles on there. I use it all the time. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you.